Hello, beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to 2021. This is your first reading for the year of 2021. Sagittarius, you are the sign of the archer. Your mantra is faith and your planet of rulership is Jupiter, the sign of abundance. This almost looks like a tower card, doesn't it? So we're going to start your reading at this time. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Sagittarius. So let's take a look and see what the overall energy is for this reading. For Sagittarius Spirit, please give us messages good messages and a beautiful reading for our Sagittarius friends to start off the year. <laughs> storm warning. All right. Well, I like storms. Stormy weather can bring about a lot of cleansing, a lot of clearing, and a lot of energetic shift. And given the fact that we have Saturn now in Aquarius, we're going to see a lot of freedom going on in the world, things that were imprisoning us before. Door to romance. Look at that. Ooh, a storm is rolling in. My interpretation of these two cards is that you're going to be quite surprised by it. And that in some ways you might be very set on a certain idea or person, but this tells me that someone's going to come in and upset the apple cart in love in a very, very positive way. So let's see, we're going to pull one more card for the overall energy for Sagittarius in love. Ooh, look at this caring connection. Beautiful energy. Okay. So let's look and see what the overall um, feelings that you're having right now are. We'll clarify everything. But Sagittarius in love, please, Spirit, give us messages for our Sagittarius friends, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a reading for the collective. If there are more than one storyline, and there often is in a general reading, I will tell both of them separately, okay? I will give the overall energy. I'll go through the cards, but I will make uh, make it clear if I think that there are two potential or three potential stories. All right, beautiful. The Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, taking it a day at a time, planning for the future, not being grandiose, being grounded, being very, uh, I would say, conservative about what you're trying to make happen, which oftentimes creates habits that are very powerful. Okay. Oh, five of coins, Sagittarius. What is going on here? Because that is a card of you feeling very much left in the cold. Okay. It does appear for many of you that you have walked away from a connection. Okay. Temperance card says that you really hope that this person potentially, for those for whom it resonates, would like to have this person follow you and make amends and come back together. You are absolutely in lockdown mode. You refuse to do anything else to help this relationship along. You feel as though you've really done your work, that you've done everything that you could do, and now it's time to test this person and test what they want with you in a very realistic way. And that's that page of pentacles, you know, doing very little, you know, being polite, answering if they text you, but you're going to leave the lion's share of the work up to them. Eight of swords. They need to make things right for something that has already happened. Okay. So let's see. The three of coins, for some of you, you may work with this person, you may know them through work, but this energy is about collaboration. It's about, you know, it's, it's sort of like, well, are we going to go to the paint store? Are we going to redo the house? Are we going to go on a vacation? You know, it's, it's planning and plotting the future, but it's actually working on the future also. The Hermit card reverse says that you have gone to the mountain and the mountain has already provided you with the answers you need. And that that energy means that you need to look no further. You've already gone through this and you're, you're over this Hermit energy, which is Virgo energy. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Sag, Gemini, um, and Capricorn. Okay, so let's see. 
What do we see? What do we see? The seven of coins, you're not going to, oh, I like this. You're not going to invest in anyone who does not invest in you, okay? So that is good news. You are very, you're very devout <laughs> in the way that you're thinking about this. You're, you're very sure of yourself here. So far, so good in terms of the fact that you know what you want. Clarity is everything, right? The Queen of Cups is telling me that you very much, you love deeply Sagittarius. You love somebody very, very deeply. Uh-oh, we had a little scuffle here. <gasps> one dog thought the other one was going to steal a toy. So sorry. <laughs> she loves her toy. <laughs> All right, so, oh, look at this. A lover's card is the outcome. Now, remembering that the lover's card is a choice, um, it's very important that you are going to make a choice about a soulmate. So we're going to put five more cards out to see where the reading is going. Seeing, We see where you're at, what you're thinking, and now it's opening to what is happening. You are going to have love with a soulmate. <clears throat> Three of Swords energy says that your person may have left you out in the cold or your heartbreak may have come because they were they put you in a third party situation. Now, third party, I would just say the heartbreak is a heartbreak. And I'm not getting that you're being juggled. It looks as though Sagittarius, there you are in your reading. Jupiter, good luck, expansion after heartbreak, after loving somebody very deeply, after walking away, you're not, you may have blocked them. I don't think you're really, you're not talking to them. So I'm seeing a story here of your luck is changing, page of swords. The pages are always about learning something new. So I would say that there's some self-help that you're doing. You know, you're trying to become enlightened because the enlightenment cards are here with the bulbs and you're studying something because you don't want to get cut again. This page is walking between two cliffs. They, this page has a waterfall. If they fall off this sort of balancing act, high wire act, they would fall, you know, in a way that there'd be no comeback. You can't fall that far and, and really survive it. So what I'm seeing is that you never want to be brokenhearted. You may have taken a risk with this person they probably, you know, if they DM'd you or they messaged you, you might have met them on the internet uh, through social media. You are just really holding back, Sagittarius, totally holding back. You are not really interested in taking chances until someone comes along and gives you stability, someone who is genuinely interested in this connection, and they are, look at this. You have this energy, it's right here, and it came about, your luck changed because you have decided to walk away from a love that hurt you and didn't work out. I would say storm warning coming may indicate that some of you are in the process of this or it's it's about to happen. You may not have done it yet, but the storm warning looks like it's more for the person that you are going to, it's sort of like a tower moment, right? This is like a big water cloud, you know, coming onto the shore. So it does look like a tower moment is coming, but I feel as though for, for, the mo for most of you, it will be you that presents the tower card. Then with the release comes good luck, good luck, good luck. Okay, so let's clarify your card, Sagittarius. I love how when I shuffle the cards, the wind from the card is lifting this one. All right, a violent shuffle. Well, we have a storm. We have a storm coming in, right? Okay, so let's see. Now I'm just being silly. All right, so let's see what the Page of Pentacles is about. What is the Page of Pentacles about for our Sagittarius friends? Page of Pentacles. What is this Page of Pentacles about for Sag? Seven of Cups, okay, so next time you make a choice in love, you want it to be grounded. Because when you look at the Seven of Cups, and that's what I said earlier, I feel as though you took a chance on this person. They were high risk 
either because they were in another relationship or they weren't prepared to have a relationship and to invest. Because when we look at the Seven of Cups, it's a lot of different choices, but not all the choices are good. So here we have a Cobra, mm, not so much. Here we have sort of your head in the clouds. Here we have you uh, basically looking all around. Now here we have a beautiful crown. We have a beautiful home, a castle. We have, you know, money in the bank. But not all choices are good. And the Seven of Cups is about making the right choice and not being sort of pulled by gold, you know, everything gold is, everything that glitters is not gold. So it's really about making the right choice so that you don't get left out in the cold. You know, investing in someone who invests in you. Okay, so let's look at the five of coins. The queen of cups energy. So you really did love this person a great deal and they left you in the cold. You really gave your heart, your soul. You may have even had a child with this person, but it does show, and they loved you also because the queen of cups is about the quality of love. So it was very intense. So what happened in this connection to make you walk away? Moon, okay, secrets, things that were hidden, things that they didn't tell you. The moon card is that sort of intuitive card. It's Pisces energy that really says that you know that there's something wrong, but you just don't know what it is. So Sagittarius, here you are in your own reading twice. You have the temperance, which is you. It's all about doing the right thing. You know, it's it's all about having faith. And Sagittarius, you're really good at that. You know, you, you have a tendency to really be good hearted. I mean, you are good hearted. You know, you're you really want the best for everybody, including yourself. Nine of Wands energy. So you want this person to come back. The Temperance card is a reconciliation card. So though you would like this person to come back, you find yourself being on the defensive. You would listen to what they have to say, but you are not going to take any action whatsoever in moving towards them, Sag. I just, self-imposed limitations. If they come to you and they want to solve the mystery, if they want to be very open with you in a way that they have proven that they weren't in the past. You are open to listening. It doesn't guarantee anything. But in the meantime, you are giving them the same treatment they gave you. So here we have the self-imposed restriction means that it's sort of like, well, if you, Rosie, honey, calm down. Okay. If they left you in the cold, you are leaving them in the cold. Even though you love them, you just know intuitively it's the thing to do is to leave this alone and to accept it for what it is. Let's see, why is the three of coins here for our Sag friends? Okay, so you're moving forward with your life. You have some things that you're doing. I like the energy because it shows that you're moving ahead with your life. You know, whatever you're doing here, you know, whatever plans you're making, we have Page of Pentacles. It looks like you're working on your career. It looks as though you have very specific goals. You may be collaborating on projects with people. And that is giving you a very solid basis and grounding for healing. Let's see why you are finished thinking about this person. The hermit card is you are no longer in search for answers because you feel that you have those answers. Six of wands, okay. So your feeling is, is that anyone who puts you in this state that makes you have to go to the mountaintop and search for answers is not a card that can give you a victory. You want a victory. You intend to have a victory. Look at this. I love this. Let me explain why this is so important. You have the victory card. You are no longer searching for answers. You know what is going to make you victorious. You know that. What you know is that this person did not invest in you and that in the future, you are not going to spend a lot of time. I would say you're looking at Sizing a person up, a new lover would be sized up or evaluated in good faith to see if your person really invests in you through their actions, not what they say to you. So 
there's no song and dance or pony show that's going to come along and entice you to take a risk. You're going to study them for a period of time until you can see if they are Ten of Pentacles or legacy relationship material. You're going to see, is this person, does this person have the same values as I do? Does this person really want a caring connection? Because without that, you know, when we look at the door, see these doors are open, right? But this door was solidly closed and you did not know that at the beginning of the relationship. That's what you did not see. Okay, that's what you did not see with that hermit reversed. You just didn't see it. So it's very important. You're really learning here. You're learning to have your happiness. You are breaking through possibly something that has been a repeat pattern, not for everyone. A lot of times we can have a one-off without a doubt. But you love so deeply, Sag, with this beautiful Queen of Cups, that you really feel as though you cannot continue to risk your heart and to have it broken. You just can't. So, oh, look at this. Your ability to love someone deeply. We have the Lover's Card now. This Lover's Card and this Lover's Card are side by side. But this one is all about meeting your lover and this card is all about being divinely protected. Oh, Sag, look at this. You can, you are now divinely protected in your ability to love someone very deeply as you step back and really decide to sort of take a much more conservative path to love by getting to know people longer or a specific person longer. You're going to put them to the test a little bit just in terms of time, you won't test them, you know, as in, I'm going to play games, but you will observe them very, very carefully. The Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here for a Sag, friends? The Sun card. Oh, beautiful. Sagittarius, your heart is soon to be mended by a new love, a new lover. Spirit is protecting you. Someone with whom you can have a legacy. Someone with whom you can have pure joy. No more being left out in the cold. No more love that doesn't feel like it's, you know, that the person isn't returning it. Let's see what your Wheel of Fortune has to tell us. What information does your Wheel of Fortune, Sag, have to tell you about this new ex The Wheel of Fortune clarifies the Wheel of Fortune. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. I just have to say, I love reading for you. I love doing the readings for people and helping them find a path to happiness and love and fulfillment. And we have to be powerful in our own lives, right? All right, so Page of Swords is clarified. Ooh, okay. So I see this as two different things. The Page of Swords is telling me with the Six of Cups that this person could be watching you with the intention of returning. So it does show that it looks as though they will return. You are going to have a choice to make because when they return, someone else will be giving you attention. You will be getting, you will learn or you will be in the process of beginning a new relationship. So it does tell me that you have to make a choice. And that is the Seven of Cups. We started with that. You have a lot of choices to make or you have one or two good choices from which you will choose or make a decision. But what we see is in one way, this for one meaning of the reading, for some of you, this could very much be the person returning. For a rare, you know, for, for somebody out there, I feel as though you might have learned that this person became engaged to somebody else, but I think that that's probably 10% at most, but I do feel that that storyline exists for someone simply because you're holding back, you're holding your heart. But let's go back to the, uh, the basic storyline here is that this person will try to return to you. We have a double wheel of fortune with Sagittarius energy. So I do feel that they're going to pop back up but you're not very open. You're very guarded. 
You know, you're guarding your pocketbook, you're guarding your heart. The Four of Pentacles is Capricorn. You want this person to show you that they are not going to leave you sitting in a restaurant waiting for them to show up and then they blow you off or they just don't show up. This person is waiting for her friends to show up at the beach. She has all of this party, you know, all of her party things around her, all of the bottles of wine she brought to the beach to have a good party. And uh, she's sitting alone, dressed up with nowhere to go. So this person may have had a habit of standing you up or they may have done it one too many times. And that is why you closed the door on them. But look at this energy. The Four of Wands is a card of community celebration. It's the honeymoon. Honey, we're dancing under the garland. This is the wedding tent, the bridesmaids. It's a huge party, a huge celebration. And that is your outcome card. So let's see what that is about for you. But we, you know, we clearly have that you're, you have love regardless of how it comes, regardless of whether you choose to invest in a former partner or you have someone new coming in, which I feel many of you will. And it does come out of the blue. Oops, there goes a card. So let's see what this is. Ah, oh, look at this. The beautiful High Priestess, Sag, that is ruled by the moon and Cancer. You intuitively can feel the energy. And when I say feel the energy, I liken it to hearing a train in the background. Intuitively, you know it's not your imagination. You absolutely know that love is coming your way. Cancerian energy is about home and hearth and commitment and love and family. And with the moon card here and this queen of cups, which is, you know, Cancerian ruled by the moon, you want what you want and you are only going to say yes to that which is valuable. So we have one more card here to clarify. So you see a relationship coming forward. It could be this person coming back, but I think for most of you, it is not likely to be that person. So read it as it resonates, take it as it applies to you. And why is the lover's card here twice? Okay, the page of swords. We have the page of swords down here, right? So, a lover is watching you, but you also have a new lover coming in. I also think for many of you, the old lover, when they see little pictures or anything that they're watching you, because, you know, almost everybody's on the internet. Most of us have a presence. But for many of you, this person will come rushing in when they think you have someone else. So that's where the storm may come in. Okay, that's how I see it. So, Sagittarius, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care. Bye-bye, Sag.